30 seconds each. Who's going to win David Trone's race in CD8? And uh, the more important race, which I think is CD4, where Donna Edwards and Glenn Ivey are running, who's going to win that race? Uh, Mark, I'm going to start with you. Well, it's a very competitive primary, so I'm not even sure who's going to be running against uh, Trone. Uh, Matt Foldy and uh, uh, Neil Parrott are running very competitive races. That said, it is a D plus one or R plus one. It's right in that uh, middle spot uh, and is potentially one of the one of the races that will decide who will control the House of Representatives. Mike. I think I think David will win, but I think I agree. I think it will be a very close race, and and honestly, I think it's good for us to have some close races in the state of Maryland. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it keeps everybody honest. Um, I think he'll I think he'll pull it out, but I think it's going to make everybody wake up and pay attention. All right. So the other race that I that, I, that I'm fascinated with is is this is what's going to be the hotly contested Democratic primary in uh, CD4, where former Prince George's County State's Attorney Glenn Ivey is contesting uh, the primary against former Congresswoman Donna Edwards. Mike, according to the Ivy camp, they're now leading. What are your thoughts? I think it's probably right. Um, I think Glenn actually, I think they're both, they're both strong candidates. Um, it's been interesting to see the, the ads that have been aired. Um, and some of the stuff that in the ads that aired about Donna have, are, are, are not inaccurate. Um, she did, she, she was not particularly great at constituent services. She, she, um, did not have a successful track record of getting much through um, as far as legislative perspective. And I think for Glenn to pull those, identify those elements um, is, is, is not inappropriate. And I think as a result of that, um, he is a stronger candidate going into the primary and has a likelihood of winning. And Mark? Well, I, I, I picked up on the uh, constituent service issue. And I think if anything, our our local Washington congressmen and women should know it's you got to have good constituency service or else uh, mm -hmm. that, that's what's expected of you. So uh, it was it, it's definitely an appropriate way to go after her. Well, as I as I think I mentioned earlier, I I mean I was shocked. I mean, I've known I've known Glenn, Glenn Ivy professionally for several years. I don't know Mrs. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Edwards, uh, so uh, I can only speak to my relationship with Mr. Ivy which has, has been professional as, a, as another attorney. And I've always gotten along uh, very well with him. He's you know, a high-class guy. But I must say that when um, Congresswoman Maxine Waters came out and endorsed uh, Mr. Ivey today, I had to take a second look because I thought if anybody got endorsed by Maxine, anti-Maxine, it would have been Donna Edwards. So uh, well, there's surprise, surprises yeah. all the time in politics. They they serve together, so uh, you make you wonder what the backstory is in something like that, right? I can see Mike doesn't want to get get oh. caught up in this one. <laughs> not in not in that one, but I, I think I mean I think it's a good race, and I think they're two good candidates. But I think that um, you know, that's the downside, right? If you actually have already been in the position, we can evaluate evaluate you on how you did in the position. And I think the things that are being said as a result of that are not inaccurate, and I think that really helps Glenn. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you both.